All right, so these are all the sales that we got going out. Today is Tuesday. And um, so right here, this is about $750 worth of sales. Um, I'm gonna go into detail how some of these boxes right here are eight by six by four, so I already have these. These boxes are just stuff that we buy from Walmart or that we find at Walmart. But usually guys, Funko Pops or you know smaller action figures or stuff like that, you can fit in by eight six by four box. But yeah, this is today's sales going out and um, yeah. So for the Funkos guys, we have a Black Widow GameStop exclusive. This one right here is worth around $70. I paid, I want to say $10 for this one. And these right here, you'll see one, two, three, four, right? It was four for 20. And then this is where it gets crazy. Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, and Tupac Shakur, which is a crazy grill. Sasha Banks, which is so hard to find. You got the thing. She's from 2013 Vaulted. Shaquille O'Neal. And I picked this up. This is a Teenage Mutant Turtles 2 um, VHS. I picked it up for 50 cents. I just thought, man, this looks so cool. And um, these two so far, I went ahead and listed these. And these sold for 60 as a pair. So I got 10 into them. And I'm making around 50 bucks. So those are gone. And the Scooby-Doo is a die cast Scooby-Doo. Super cool. We put 10 bucks into it. We got it on clearance at Target. And now, moving over here, we got some Nike foam posits in really good condition. Look at those bottoms. That's really good condition. We put about 5 bucks into those, and those will probably sell for around 35 And this right here is a tape player. And I paid a whopping three bucks for that and came with the cord and that sells around for 25. Now here is an amazing find. This is a 1950s sewing machine. And if I can get the brand, it's a it's a Singer portable electric sewing machine. And this thing is old. But look at this. So we looked this up on eBay, and this particular model goes for around $800. We ended up paying, it was so funny. And the cashier, she was like, so how much is it? And she she was like, so is it $14.50? And I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and then she, and I was like, no, it's $145. But... This right here is a huge profit. Boya had the idea when she was going by GameStop, she saw two people outside and she was thinking, what are they doing? So she asked and they said, oh, our GameStop just got 14 Xbox Series X's in. And she was like, what'd you say? And so we are going to be camping out at GameStop. This is going to be crazy. This is going to be an adventure. And I thought to myself as a reseller, I'm like, Man, I gotta record this. This has to make a video. She was gonna go by herself. I can't let her go by herself, guys. Like, I can't let her go by herself. But we will be outside of GameStop and I will see you there. All right, we are on our way to the GameStop and then we're gonna be there for probably 18 hours. But, well, 12. 12. What time is it? Well, yep, we'll be there for about 12 hours, spend the night there, have some fun, meet people, see what they're talking about, get them to follow this YouTube channel, and they'll be watching this video. We have the Xbox Series X, one terabyte SSD. Now, we waited outside of GameStop for this. However, my, uh, my GoPro died. And I couldn't get any footage other than when we were on the way, but we met some awesome guys there. So right here we have a VCA camcorder. I had to redo the audio because my camera was so loud and you heard a lot of background noise. However, this I think I paid $12 for. Yeah, the sticker's right there. And I really think I can make probably 40 or 50 bucks off of this. Um, it has all the cables. I was able to test it and it turns on, but yeah, I think it's a really good find right here. 
So today is Thursday, and these are all the sales from yesterday. Um, this is a total, I think, one of these is a Carnage from the Funko Shop. One is a Princess Tiana. The other is, um, I think this is a Biggie Smalls, and I, I don't remember what these two were. But um, this right here, guys, these are just Funko Pops. I made a total of $525, $380 yesterday and today. A sale of 140. So that's it. These are the orders going out today, guys. So that's, that's a good deal. All right. So we have Kenny Omega and we have Cody Rhodes. Um, well, the American Nightmare. These are from New Japan Pro Wrestling, and um, I think this one costs. I want to say this is like 20 bucks. Um, I know the dude had four for 20. But then some of them were like a little more. But I want to say there's 20 into this. And this bundle sold together for 60 And I'm going to go ahead and get that package up now. So here's this to show you guys a little um, of the boxes that I get. This is like one of like six stacks it comes with. This is from Supply Hut. I got it off eBay. This is 8 by 6 by 4 And as you can see, these Funko Pops, if you put them in protectors, which I always do... And wrap it with bubble wrap it almost fits like super tight anyone interested in how i get these pop protectors i'll have a link in my description these are echo tech you can get um i want to say you can get a hundred of these for like 50 bucks on amazon and they're really well they're not like cheaply made like walmart and they have a plastic wrap around them so like when you when i'm putting it on for this customer they're not my fingerprints aren't going to be all over the actual protector you know what i mean like this right here if i put all my hands on it you'll see my fingerprints with this it really protects it i think it's around 45 millimeters but uh yeah guys this is a super great if you're ever going to sell funkos i would highly recommend picking up a bulk buy protectors just so for your sake when they're shipping they don't get damaged so i got them nice in there um they're pretty they're kind of loose right now but I have this wrapping paper, and usually when I put wrapping paper, I usually have um, just brown paper that you can get from Walmart or Amazon. But you want to make sure that these right here, there's enough room that it doesn't get crushed. But you don't want these to move, because if it's on one side like that, and it gets crushed, it'll, it'll mess it up. So you kind of want them in the middle, and then you just want to keep them secure where they're at. So I found this styrofoam brick that's over there, so I'm going to just break this and just fit it right in there so right here are the mickey mouse um these are coming hard sacks these are at walmart i picked these up while we were in charleston and these resell for a good bit all right so it is currently 5 2 p.m and i am about to be at the house and I'll show you guys a quick glimpse of what how big the yard is, how much I charge, and what all I do. And this, you guys, will just give you a little rough estimate for any guys out there or gals who want to 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 learn how to make extra income. Cutting yards is, I mean, it's so easy. It needs to be done, and most people don't want to do it themselves. So if you're willing to get off your butt and do it, you can make a lot of money doing it. All right, guys, just got done cutting the yard, and found this on the side of the road. Had to pick it up. This probably gave me 20 bucks easy, and this was completely free. So far today, we've made one sale. Latoya went to a thrift store yesterday. She picked up a hair remover that uses some sort of technology. She spent eight bucks, and it sold for 136 dollars. All right, so if you made it to this part of the video, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, you know. A lot of times with resellers you have ups and downs but I really want to document my journey and everything that I'm going through in terms of sales processing everything that I've been doing um, I really appreciate the people who have made it to this part of the video to take the time out of their day um, if you want to become a reseller please please follow me on Instagram um, I know it, it may be a little more personal than these videos but I source things and in the future, we're going to be having a lot of great content coming out. We're going to be having a lot of good videos where we have how-tos, what to do in a certain situation, what software I use, all that good stuff, guys. So if you're interested, I know there's a lot of people out there who are trying to break the curse of working a full-time job and you, know, you may feel tired when you come home. Um, 
you when you get off of work you're supposed to work on your goals and I feel like a lot of these passive income ideas are really just shams to get your money I really want to show you guys how easy it is to do this and how hard it is to do this and the in-betweens and the ups and downs as always subscribe and if you enjoyed this content please share it with a friend and I'll see you guys in the next one